Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Realms of the Haunting. When we last left off, well, <laughs> we found the tower. I'm not sure this is what anyone would have expected, but uh, here we are. Did you get a warning from a man named Raphael who left us a fish? Now nah, we're cooking. Hell yeah, we're cooking. Um, speaking of Raphael, I suppose we can probably... There are a few different things that we can consider here, I guess. Um, one of them actually being, um, not the gnarl, not the mask, but the hat. Who is this guy? He's the guy that locked us in. Uh, not, well, we're already sort of locked in anyway, but you get the idea. The hat who dropped the playing card. What do you think he is? I'm not sure of his origins, but I'd guess they're not the same as ours. Hmm. Interesting enough. Oh yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Requia. This is one of the realms that uh, was mentioned by Raphael. Put two and two together, I'd say that place that Raphael mentioned, Raquia, was another world, like the tower. He said there were four worlds. Raquia is only one of them, the realm of spirit. Okay. What about the tower in general? We'll talk, we'll talk about the tower in a sec. Let's consider this other realm as well here. Aqua. That was one of the four realms that Raphael spoke of. Divinity. The realm of divinity. Okay. Um, alright, let's talk about the tower now, I guess. What do you make of the tower? Do your psychic powers give you any kind of insight? Well, only what we already know. It's supposed to connect all worlds and realities together. We've got that much from Raphael and the Null. True, I suppose. Um, alright, what about the worlds? What about the worlds the tower is supposed to connect? There are four of them, according to Raphael. Helot. Earth, our own, Raquia, the realm of spirit, Aqua, the place of divinity, and Shoal, the abode of hell. Hell. Hell indeed. I don't think we want to go there if we can avoid it. What's a tower gate? What is one exactly? It's a device of some sort. A place in our world that connects to the tower. All right. The tower. Strange place. Raphael. What should I make of him? The last of the gardeners. And the tower itself. He claims he's the guide. He seemed friendly enough. Wanted to help. And didn't give too much away. But is he hiding something? Perhaps. Alright, well, uh, the only other things to talk about are the Iyer and Raphael himself. Raphael warned us of the ire. Ever heard of it before? No, but I do remember Raphael describing it. He said that I was a thing, a living thing, doomed to eternally wander the tower and devour the unwary traveler. We well, should be cautious then. The ire. Those voices we heard in the tower. Maybe that was the ire. The voices of the souls it's devoured. Where does it come from? Why is it doomed to wander the tower? And what if the magic of that place somehow... I don't know, somehow failed? Would the Iyer then be free to enter our world? Nothing could stop it once it crossed the gap between realities. I'm not sure that was a question, but uh, if you say so... Alright, Raphael. This Raphael fellow... What do you make of him? He said he was the last of the guides of the tower or something. The last of its gardeners. He said he could advise, but not direct. The gardeners Raphael mentioned. Who could they be? I believe Raphael said that they perished when the ire came to the tower. Did he say that? I don't recall. Raphael. Friend or foe. He certainly seems full of good intention. He said he was the last of the tower's gardeners. The last of his kind. Why has he chosen to remain in the tower when all the others perished? Seemed strangely familiar, too. Like an old friend. Perhaps that's just his way. Perhaps. All right. Well, I think we've discussed just about everything we needed to uh, discuss for now. So let's get to exploring this tower. It has fallen, my lord. The chamber is there. It was Thomas. The traitor was Thomas. All right. That's a little odd. Can we walk in here? We cannot. 
or we can, but nothing will happen. <laughs> All right, we do actually have a map of this place. We might want to consider consulting that. Even incomplete as it is. All right, where did we come in, do you think? There's something there. I think we came in here. So, uh... We just came down these stairs. If we go to the right, we'll come to, I guess, a dead end down there. And then there's something here. So I guess we'll, yeah, we'll go right so we can check out whatever this is. And then this is going to link up anyway. Although it does look like maybe these stairs go down and they don't link up to that. Um, hard to say for, uh, for certain here. I guess we could just use our eyes. Maybe it does link up. But uh, yeah, we'll go this way. We'll take a look. I'm assuming we don't want to fall off the edge here. That will probably be instantaneous death. So uh, we'll try to avoid that. What do we got here? What is this? Hello, lies to the north, traveler. Ah, so that's Earth. I don't know if I should have pushed that or not, but I did it. Hello, lies to the north, traveler. And there's no taking it back. <laughs> All right, well, that's interesting. Let's go this way and see what we got over here. The seals are fast. Where is the power you promised? Answer me, Abaddon. Who's Abaddon? Let's see if we can... I'm trying to take a look down. But it uh, seems like there's... Not anything down there that we are terribly interested in. Hello, lies to the north, traveler. All right. This doesn't seem to go anywhere. So basically, we need to select one of these two teleporters to go through. Doesn't matter which one we uh, we choose, I wonder. Looks like the answer is no, it probably doesn't. Cuz these I'm guessing these are the teleporters. So we're going to get to where we're going either way, but I'm going to go with uh, this one over here because it looks like it goes kind of maybe more toward where I would like to check out first. This is very odd. Very odd indeed. It's another Helid symbol. I guess this is the symbol for Helid. It's an H. It makes sense. <laughs> no enemies in here, so that's at least a nice change of pace. At least so far. There's something odd about this pillar. You're right. It's my Seven are the stones and seals. With thy word, are they enough? There's something odd about this pillar. You're right. It's making me feel nervous. Power's faint, but very powerful. Hmm. Points this way. But we can't interact with it really in any way, so I guess we'll just move on. Rockwear can be located in the east. Okay. So that's Helid. I'm gonna push this. The path to Helid is to be found in the south. Don't know what that does or if I should do it, <laughs> but I did it. I don't regret it. Not yet, anyway. All right, so we've got this way. We've looks like we've got some kind of platform Your down there. We can start a cure. Yes. Death is the cure for all disease. Uh, I mean that's a rather <laughs> morbid way to look at it. I suppose he's not entirely wrong. Um, except for the part where dead people are still diseased. They're just not suffering from it. So not really anything going on here. I think we just need to wa uh, we want to uh, cruise over here and check this out. This looks like the place we should be. If I remember right, Raphael told us to stand on the plinth and take off the masks. All right. So that says Helid. I thought Helid was Earth. Am I mistaken in that?
Maybe not. Maybe this is a different place on Earth. Broken statue. There aren't any voices coming from this one. Or well, rather than broken, it appears to have been blasted by something. Maybe it was lightning. Uh, one, I doubt it was lightning. Two, uh, what are we talking about with these voices? Three, why are there skeletons hanging here? Why is this one <laughs> made out of cardboard? Jesus, what the hell? Sacrifices. I'm... I'm not sure I like any of this anymore. Yeah, you said that before. I still agree with you. Well, we're still here. We seem to be in one piece. Yeah, whoever here is. Seems to be some sort of long forgotten garden. Well, judging by the walls around us, I'd say we're at some sort of central point of the house. No one's been here for a while by the looks of things. That is very strange. Another statue. The voices seem to be coming from the statues. Unnerving. Wonder who the voices are. Well, we can't really do anything with the statues, so I guess. Broken statue. There aren't any voices coming from this one. Or rather than... Maybe it was lightning. Maybe it was lightning. Is there anything in here? This uh, appears to just be a pool. All right. Well, this is a little, a little odd. We're, we're at the house, but a part that I guess we couldn't access before. Wonder uh, where exactly we would have to go in the house to actually get here. Board it up. Keep something in or out. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? Uh, very insightful, Rebecca. Thank you. Um. Well, there is a door here perhaps we could open. Locked. Perhaps not. <laughs> okay. What about down here? Some more statues. This one's a... Very faint, but you can hear the... The voices. These women sound like men, though. It's a little odd, but, you know, whatever. Oh, all right. There is something here. There's a key. We'll take that. I'm going to guess the key goes to the... Uh, the door over there. Just taking a look around to see if there's anything on the ground out here, but it doesn't seem like it. So, I suppose we shall just... Use the key. Oh, there is another door over here as well. Was it locked? I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Very dark in here. Um, very, very dark, actually. Is there a light switch? Doesn't seem like there's a light switch. Board it up. Keep something in. Rather depends on where you're stood, doesn't it? I think this room is just empty. I can't seem to see anything in here. So very well. We will uh, go and use this key on this door over here instead. Hmm. Curious what, what this uh, symbol is all about. A map. But of where? Of where indeed? You inside. The one who is named Adam. There is no place to run. Come without. Come now. So be it. We shall come to you, one called Adam. Prepare your soul. 
Now the masks will be mine. The Narl has been distant for too long. Prepare to die. Mmm, you guys can't get in here, can you? I don't think you can. How about that? <laughs> Anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. Let's take a look at this map real quick. Just casually while we're, uh... We're, uh, messing around, uh, in here. Um, so we have... Yeah, okay. Visual of what the symbols, uh, represent. I mean, honestly, if they can't get up the stairs, why even come out here? I mean, we got plenty of room, though. And plenty of shotgun. For everybody. So we might as well just use... <laughs> use some shotgun shells here. Oh, shit, there's another guy right there. There we go. May as well use some pistol ammo here. This is not a very threatening situation, so... I think it's probably in our best interest to uh, use our weaker weapons when the opportunity is available. Alright, I feel like... We couldn't have come here just... For this. That's ridiculous. Just for a rune guide? I mean, come on. I'm not buying it. I'm sure there's nothing in here. So I hear I hear water. I'm not getting in there. Is there something on the other side, maybe? Or can we like bust this door open? Nope, can't do anything with that. What about... I miss a door over here or, or anything? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Maybe that is it. Interesting that we're kind of looking down when we're walking through these bushes. I wonder if there's anything in here. Oh, I don't see anything. I mean, I don't know. I guess we came to get the the guide of the runes and get that key and now we're done. <laughs> That's all I can think of. So there's nowhere else to go here. Combine the face with the soul. Yes, we shall do that. Uh, uh, I think our masks. Here we go. Alrighty. I guess that was it. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we do have uh, this guide now. That's something. Seems like maybe there used to be a uh, teleporter thing there. Perhaps? Hard to say. wonder if we should... Uh Check this thing out again. If we come around the pathway. Nope. Don't know. I guess we just go back. Still no monsters here or anything. But perhaps perhaps blowing up that symbol blew up some uh, some other doors in the house. That is an interesting idea. Let's see if that uh, theory holds any water. I'm just gonna skip those little cutscenes because they're very noisy and. Uh, We've seen them before. Yes, okay. So now we can get through here. And possibly other doors. Very interesting. A little bit of a leak sprung there. <laughs> it's not the first one we've seen in this house, though. I guess we'll 
go. Plenty of this rubble around. The structure doesn't look too safe, does it? No, it does not. Guess we're not going through there. I'm not going to try to jump that. I'm guessing we're just not intended to go that way. What the hell is going on here? Hey, what's this? Looks like a zone marker, marking a magical boundary. Hmm. All right. How do we... Colors faded badly on the weave. Not surprising, considering the state of this place. How do we mess with that, I wonder? Can we interact with that? There's some sort of arcane design woven into this. Very odd. What do you mean? I've not seen one of these for a while. The weave incorporates a safety device. So you mean you stand in it, and it'll protect you from something? Any ideas from what? What indeed? I don't know. I'm just looking to see if there's like a button or something that uh, that I'm missing here. I don't see anything there. Damn. Stuck fast. Stuck fast. Can't do anything with that. Yeah, we can't jump that. Nothing there. I actually just don't know <laughs> what we're supposed to do with that. I assume there's uh, there's something that we can do with it. But uh, I'm just not seeing it. Looking at all these, these things here. No buttons there. I don't know. Let's um go back into the other part of the house, I guess, and just... Uh, Take a look around. I have a feeling... Ah, maybe this. Never mind. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay. Perhaps, um... We should be cautious here. I have a feeling if we attack that, it's going to, uh... Raise that thing again. Strange place. Gonna go in here first, I think. There's a key up there. All right, I'm interested. How are we gonna get that key? I wonder. Oh, hello, monsters. Ah, serpent statue. Um, we do have. Ow! How the fuck did you get down here so fast? Oh, I missed. Big miss. Uh, well. Oh, they ah, they jumped off. That's how. <laughs> right in the foot. <laughs> okay. Let's come up here for a second. Take a look. Okay, nothing else going on up here. I think we actually took a little damage jumping off that, so let's not do that again. Let's use one of these, uh, s these serpent statues, though. There we go. Not expecting that. Oh, okay. I was going to say, do we have to jump over there or what? Looks like we just, uh... Just have to be patient. Perhaps. There we go. Good stuff. And now Golden we have a key. key. Worth a few bucks. More importantly, we haven't found anything to open with it yet. Indeed, we haven't. Alright, there we go. We'll make sure we take the statue with us. All right, we, so we need to find out where this key goes and what the hell is going on with this situation. 